for Nothing is a non-profit organization that has been created in 2017 by a collective of women. In four years, in 2028, we're going to open our own art and solidarity center called La Collective. And today, we inaugurate the program of prefiguration with the exhibition here that is titled Resilient Currents on Communal Reexistence. La Collective is a very important project for Thanks for Nothing. We won a major competition from the City of Paris in 2020 to rehabilitate and renovate the former hospital of Saint Vincent Paul in the 14th arrondissement. The idea is to create our own art center. We were going to involve artists in exhibition spaces, residency program, an auditorium, a concert room for performances and live screenings, also outdoor program with artworks in the public space. It's a big project. It's going to be 3,500 meters square. And we wanted to start this year our programming of prefiguration with our first exhibition that we give the tone of what La Collective is going to be to the public. That is an international exhibition bringing more than 20 artists and collective. And we decided to commission this program to Ilaria Conti because her practice as a curator is also very committed. Resilient Currents on Communal Reexistence is a collective exhibition that focuses on notions of communal, which is a shared sensibility that is personal but is also political. It's an activist and ethical sensibility toward ways of honoring the interdependency that connects all human, beyond human, the relationship with what we call nature and so on and so forth. We invited practices that are linked to the territories that are commonly called Central and South America, which many of the practices themselves define as Abya Yala. It's a Kuna term, so it's an indigenous language term that is used precisely to indicate those regions, but not through the lens of the European colonial experience, but rather as a way of self-determining from that region. The general statement of the exhibition, I would say, is more of an invitation to think about the ways in which we relate to ourselves, people around us, society at large, and beyond that, to consider other systems of knowledge, other ways of understanding life. Many of the artists, they interest or focus in spirituality or in other forms of uh, making sense of the world that establish new relationships, for instance, with bodies of water, waterfalls, rivers, the methodology and technology of dreams, of dreaming with plants. Many of the artists invited to this exhibition offer windows into, you know, other ways of existing in the world. The idea of La Collective is really to become an art and solidarity center that will show art practices that are really committed. We don't want to have one focus but broaden the spectrum. We can talk about education, women's rights, human rights, the refugee crisis, political issues. We really want to work in a collective way. We bring NGOs for social causes. One example within the exhibition, we have invited Aqua Verde that links France to the Amazonian forest. The organization is bringing talks, presentation, and also we make people able to donate to them. In seven years, we have raised more than three million euros that we redistributed to NGOs working on the ground. For all the projects that we do at Thanks for Nothing, we have a very strong educational part of it, meaning that we want to bring um, disadvantaged communities and also kids and make sure they have this access in a very fluid way and very warm way to all the projects that we do.